Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to more Undertale. So before we begin this episode, I kind of wanted to address something that I kind of sort of missed out. So, do you remember that little bit of a crossroads where, you know, you would get the stained apron? Well, it actually turns out I kind of sort of missed a room, a rather secret room, actually. By stepping on some sort of magical glass or something like that, you will arrive in the Art Club Room, a secret room in Hotland. And a secret boss can be encountered there. That boss is called So Sorry. Now that we reach the MTT Resort, it is technically possible for, you know, me to, you know, uh, encounter said monster, per se. And the way to do that is, well, kind of... Well, actually, the game does explain. It says that you have to change your clock, or rather, the meetings take the meetings where Say Sorry goes to in the art club, I suppose. The meetings take place on October 10th. Doesn't matter what year, October 10th is always the date for the meetings. There you can fight So Sorry. I might be actually, I might be actually going ahead and fight this boss later. Uh, just like with Glide. However, I just wanted to make mention of him right now, just in case I forget. Anyway, last time, uh, finally, we made it all the way up here to the MTT Resort. Where we had a little dinner with Sans, of course. And, of course, we had yet another run-in with Metaton in his Final Fantasy VI-inspired glory. So before I actually begin exploring a little bit of the uh, MTT Resort... I want to go back here and, well, go back here and show you that there's this note right here that says go up to the creepy alleyway on the right in order to get some great deals, so why don't we do so right here. Hey, check it out! Yeah, check it out! Uh, yes, uh, so you can buy here some weapons, some armor, you can actually get a cowboy hat, and... You can get the mystery key, which I have the money for it, so why don't we just get it? Including the cowboy hat. Yes, I or, or I have too many items, excuse me, sorry. I'll just switch out my inventory in a little bit. But let's try to sell some things. Saying, thanks, but we, like, don't really need anything. Oh my god, did you go to get some glam burgers? We don't really need anything. Wait, I'll pay you 1,000 G to get Metaton to autograph my butt. This really is real good, Jen. All right, <laughs> so what's up with you? What's up with you two? So this is Braddy and Caddy. They are best friends, of course. They are the teenage. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they are the teenagers, of course. What about your wares? The stuff inside is like totally wicked expensive. But like this stuff that we found is like totally wicked cheap. You should like totally wicked buy all of it. And what about the origin of this wares per se? I mean, like, do, where does anyone get guns or food or... We found it in the garbage! It's good garbage. Yeah, it's literally good garbage indeed. What about the origin of garbage? <laughs> where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store. Duh. I Waterfall mostly. I found a gun in the dumpster! Of course. Man, but what do you know about Metaton? What's he about? Oh my god, Metaton. Yes, they are totally teenagers indeed. One of them could be possibly like Grey Delon, the other one could be Amethyst. He's like your robot husband. <laughs> to be fair, I would marry him too. Like, I would go gay for Metaton. Let's not, let's be fair here. I'd go gay for Metaton. Alright, so like, Dr. Alphys built Metaton, right? They're, that's like what they tell you. But like, Metaton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alphys was an old friend. But they're like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy, best friends forever! About Metaton. Oh! <laughs> what about, uh, yeah, okay, so they say the same thing. Okay, oh. No, I didn't mean to do that. What about Alphys? Alphys! <laughs> I like how the other one, is, I like how Caddy is saying it in all caps. He's like, she's like me. She used to live on our street. She was like a big sister. I mean, like, if you're if your big sister takes you on the trips to the dump. 
I mean, of course, I mean, why not? Why not take your guys to the trash, or your friends to the trash? Yeah, he's always going about weird cartoons, and then she became the Royal Scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. And what about the Royal Scientist? So, Alphys has always, like, thought Asgore was a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton 2, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul. That's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. So, after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do, do all his science for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must, like, really stay in her lab all day. Aww. So, like, live like a little girl. Like us. What about Asgore? Yeah, so they say she, he's a total, like, nice dude, too. <laughs> yeah. Just like everyone else. God, we're like, so hyped for the destruction of humanity! Yay! <laughs> Alright, let's get that cowboy hat and just, or not, I can probably just, you know, exit out and, you know, get my items in the dimensional box so I can just, you know, get that. Anyway, um, I will show off what the mystery key does later. But, uh, I don't really need the spider donut anymore, nor do I need the hot dog or hot cat. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, do the thing. Alright, so you can get junk food for 25G, but what I really want is the cowboy hat. I'm gonna run out of stuff soon. <laughs> I should probably, like, save my money or stuff or something like that. You know, I can technically easily just, you know, get back, you know, to the, uh, thing. I mean, to the Temi Village, so I can technically just do that Cloudy Glasses trick over and over again so I can grind up my money. But, that's all irrelevant right now. That's all irrelevant. Alright, so first off is, you know, the restaurant, because I neglected to show that off last time. And unfortunately, due to the fact that, uh... That, uh... Uh, what was I gonna say? that I rolled it up the game over and over again. It's raining somewhere else doesn't really play anymore. That's ah. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now my son, he wants to be a comedian just like his father. Also, you're Snowdrake's dad. Awesome. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> of course not. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't understand living at home anymore, or couldn't stand living at home anymore, so he ran away. No one has seen him since. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> That's not funny. Yeah, yeah, kids. What are you gonna do? I work at the core. The inside is a maze of swappable parts, made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Oh boy. <laughs> I sure love puzzle. Yes, I love Puzzle too. Possibly. Some skeleton guy may or may not have been influenced by that. So, originally they made mazes, but now building things in wind... wind blah, 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 blah. Wow. You can't get... To, you can't go uh, two feet without being up in your armpits in puzzles. Man, Papyrus kind of sort of had influence, I suppose? I guess... What about you? As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look at, like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kinda consuming you off this ficus. It's a potted plant. Yep. Potted plants are apparently everywhere. The wall of fame. This food is to die for. Gorgeous style and fragrance. My face tastes beautiful. These are all Metaton. Metaton must really like himself. He really does. Alright, some kind of TV show, okay. Uh, there's really nothing here to, you know, really do here in that restaurant part. So we're just gonna move on. Before we get to the main act, which is over there. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, talk to these people. What's up? This elevator goes straight to the capital. But it stopped working. Ah, uh, of course. This hotel's been doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. Yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight. Um... I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. Apparently you have a treasure hoard. As a slime, I'm outraged. <laughs> As a slime, I'm outraged. That's pretty good. Yes, we know the elevator to the city is not working. Because of this incident, 
Rooms are running at a special rate. 200 year room. Interested? No. I can literally get a room and get my money back. Jeez. I like this statue, though. Inscription on the fountain. Royal Memorial Fountain, uh, built 21X, of course. Metaton added it last week. As if he died or something. So, it's, so, the MTT Resort is basically an apartment slash living place, or hotel place. Just passing through? Nice! MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. Yes, indeed. What about, uh, right here? What's up with this? Ooh, ah, room service! Got my CT? Yes, I do. Uh, here you go. Huh? That's just that's just the way I want. Here's a tip. So you can get money for doing favors with these people, and it's locked from the inside, obviously. What about you? Whoa, room service. Got my cinnamon bun. Nah. Then? <laughs> oh man, I I didn't realize that we get that needed stuff. Let's see. You hear shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. So, I think you can put... Wow. It didn't have anything appealing. Wow. I don't have anything. <laughs> uh, I, bet, I bet it's all in here, I suppose. Uh, I don't really think I really need the hot cat for anything, so... Uh, uh, why don't we put the hot cat in the door? Oh. I think I need the hot dog, actually. <laughs> Sorry, sorry about doing this, but, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how this works, because i never even done this before in my life. Uh, well, I've seen it done, but I haven't actually done it myself. So, let's see, hot cat, and, wait, no, 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 hot dog, I want the hot dog, jeez. Oh, why? <laughs> okay, fine, I guess I don't need money anyway, Yeah. Maybe I should put the hot cat in the inventory in my inventory for actually purposes. Okay, hot dog. Thank you. Jeez. Tries to pull the hot dog into its room, but it keeps pressing down too hard, and the hot dog keeps spinning away. It finally succeeds. And I hear the grinding of stone. A single hush puppy slides out from under the door. And I get a hush puppy. Okay, so what does this do? Yo, 65 HP! Whoa! This wonderful spell will stop a dog from cast casting magic. I am going to put that away because I will... I will gladly take that. Also, I will equip the uh, cowboy hat and put this stained apron in... Actually... Nah, I, nah, I think I need the stained apron on me. And I'll put the uh, cowboy hat away for future use, possibly. I'll still need the stick. But anyway, what's your story? Okay. <laughs> but now we're gonna get into the real act. Oh boy. If you ever played Undertale before, then you'll definitely know what's coming up. But if you haven't, or if you're seeing it for the first time, prepare to be amazed. This guy. This freaking guy is amazing. Welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium, home of the Gland Burger. Sparkle of your day! Trademark. <laughs> of course. Um, what happens if we try to sell him something? WHY IS THIS PERSON TRYING TO SELL ME SOMETHING? THIS IS A HAMBURGER RESTAURANT! I'M JUST TRYING TO SURVIVE! What is he? <laughs> okay, so if you want to talk to him, you're gonna have to buy something. Um, I'm gonna buy a Gland Burger because I can get that for... Actually, no, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I'm gonna go like Glam Burger. Why not? A shape, steak in the shape of Metaton's face. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get a Glam Burger. What the hell? <laughs> what is this? Have a fabulous day. Okay, let's talk to him. No. What? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if I get chummy with the customers. Sorry. What is this? So, I wanted to be an actor! <laughs> what is he? <laughs> okay, okay, let's get some high advice. He's smoking that 420! <laughs> I'm getting on in years, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. You still got time. Don't live like me. 
I'm 19 years old and I've already wasted my entire life. Absolutely agree. I'm 23 years old and I already felt like I wasted my entire life too. Oh my god, this guy. Listen, I like you little buddy, so I'm gonna save you a lot of trouble. Never interact with attractive people. Unless you're one of them. They're just gonna take advantage of you. <laughs> like that time those two chicks asked me to sneak them some glam burgers. And I, naive teenager I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. <laughs> Bad idea. What's up with the glam burger story? <laughs> so, I went into the alley to see those two ladies and, uh, you know, see what happened next. Then my boss, uh, saw me and asked me what I was doing. I was so startled, the hamburgers in my pockets tumbled out of the ground. Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But, as I was leaning over, the weight of my remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. <laughs> Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. This guy's amazing. <laughs> like, you haven't lived in Undertale and or played Undertale until you have seen this guy. When I first came into Hotland, it was my dream to work with Metaton. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. But why is Metaton bad? Like, he seems like a good dude. God, haven't you looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. <laughs> This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. It's everyone's new slogan now. This uh, this game's slogan. And every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says, That's not how they do it on the surface. Oh, right. Humans are always eating hamburgers made out of sequins and glue. <laughs> but why else is MTG bad? Why do people find him attractive? He's literally a freaking rectangle! <laughs> you know, one time, I bought one of those, uh, kits online to, uh, make yourself more rectangular. <laughs> they don't work. So what's up with your future, man? How do you, how do you see yourself in, like, uh, two years? This is Eric Andre stuff right here. This is Eric Andre show stuff right here. Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes. I'll probably be trapped in a stupid job forever. <laughs> but wait! There's one thing that keeps me going. If Asgore just gets one more soul, we'll finally go to the surface. It'll be a brand new world. There's gotta be a second chance out there for me, for everyone. So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. This man, this man is the poster board for everything that is correct with this world. Anytime, little buddy. God, everyone loves that guy and for very, very good reasons. Like, Burger Pants is just one hell of an amazing dude. He's amazing. But, um, let's see, what do I want to do, what items do I want to do? I wanted to get the hot cats, I want to get the spider donut out of there. Yeah, so, uh, in terms of the mystery key, um, I'm gonna show off what that does later. Since, you know, we're coming up pretty close to the core, which is right there. And I'm just gonna simply leave you on this little note right here. Huh? Who are they? N nobody else is supposed to be here. Oh well, we can't worry about that now. And so, we have finally reached it. And this is the place where the border shall change. To the core. Next time on Undertale, we go directly into Le Corps.
See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.